Hi Box Buddies, this is Jeannie with Batman's Boxes. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to share a box with you that I packed for a two to four year old girl, which initially started out as a Love Diana theme, but it morphed into sort of a tribute to the late Princess Diana since today, July 1st, is her birthday. Um, Princess Diana was a fascinating human being who did so many charitable things and I thought since Operation Christmas Child is a wonderful charity and we pack boxes to bless children around the world I thought this tribute would be appropriate to dedicate to her so when she gets started when oh, when I get started when she opens her box this is what she will see and right on top I have her dress that I just thought was so beautiful for a little girl who I hope feels very special in this pretty dress. I also included uh, one of these ballerina dolls um, because here's a fun fact. Uh, Princess Diana was very much into ballet and she did ballet when she was a little girl and then later on took it up again but um, I guess being a princess she had to let that go so I also gave her a pair of flip-flops to go with her dress she has a couple of pair of princess socks and I gave her the Cinderella pair and also Princess Jasmine. And of course you have to be, um, if when you're a princess, you have to have a crown. That's actually Rapunzel, but <laughs> it's Princess Diana today. She has a four-piece set of uh, jewelry. She has um, a ring, earrings, and a necklace. I gave her a pencil pouch, and I did include a princess keychain on there, and it's just um, your standard school supply things in here. She has... One of these um, these magnetic dolls. This, this was a three set, a three piece set. There was a um, Cinderella, Rapunzel, and I think Belle. So I did include the Rapunzel, and inside this bag, I matched all of the outfits. I also included four of these. Um, these are unicorn uh, barrettes, and then they have this string on the back. I thought that would be really cute. For a little girl to get all dolled up with. She also has a little unicorn, um, these were Easter eggs, and inside here I put nothing, <laughs> but I will put something in there. I thought I put something in there. And I found this um, wooden sort of palace um, at the Dollar Tree. So I did paint it and I put um, a Rapunzel sticker on it. And to go with her castle, she has this adorable carriage and her horse goes in the front. And the prince and the princess go inside the carriage. And I do, I got a bunch of these. I think I got these on Timu, uh, these bigger Lego figurines. I really like these for the toddlers. I gave her a princess water cup. And I also gave her these princess nesting eggs. I love nesting eggs. These are so fun. They are pretty expensive, um, 
but I did get these on Timu and these are one of the items that I left in my cart. They were, I think nine or $10 and I left it there and they offered me, I don't know, $2 and change. So I got this one. Um, later on, I got some uh, polar bear, I think, and maybe some bunnies. So keep in mind, if you like something and you see it, leave it in your cart. I also gave her three uh, rings, different colors. She can wear whichever one she wants. And these rings actually um, are perfect because you can squeeze the back and it will fit your finger. I gave her some crayons. And one of the things that actually inspired this theme is this little Diana doll. I had this for, I don't know, a year or two. And there's also a book that I got after Valentine's Day. Um, and I just was holding on to it until I started thinking about what did I want, what I wanted to do with the theme, and this came to mind. I also gave her this cute little princess purse, and inside the purse was a bounce ball. I gave her a couple of frozen barrettes. I also gave her this really pretty uh, crown barrette. A couple of hair clips, a little notepad, two hair scrunchies, and also one more Disney princess scrunchie. It has all the Disney princesses on there. I also included this bag, and inside this bag, I gave her a comb and a toothbrush. Her washcloth. She has a fidget spinner. I gave her some princess um, activity pages. A big princess jumbo eraser. Lots of princess skateboard stickers. I also gave her this box and in here she has some nail files and a rainbow eraser and um, a unicorn eraser and these are unicorn crayons. I wasn't sure how well these were going to work. So um, I did include a big pack. I think I have some giraffe ones as well. I gave her a, um, a princess castle eraser. And I also included this hamster eraser because fun fact, Princess Diana loved hamsters. That's a true story. And I also included one of these pop-up uh, play palace. These are so cute. I, I never, I, maybe I found one or two, um, and then my mom found me some, but I didn't get a bunch, but I was happy to get what I got because these are adorable. And you know, there's a whole story in there. And then you connect it and it becomes the castle. I also included one of these uh, felt um, play mats, and this is what it looks like when you put it all together. So I, I did cut that part out, but um, I stuck it in the bag so she can keep the pieces together. I gave her a cross necklace. I also included one of these Disney princess um, sticker stories, and I just took the, the packaging off and then I put I put everything in here. These are the 3D ones. I think these are the ones were, that were 25 cents at Dollar Tree. I gave her a doodle pad 
And this is the book that kind of went with the doll that basically started this theme. So I gave her that. I gave her my dress up um, princess. These are really cute. Take out the stickers and the dresses and you can put it on and sorry, take it back off, change the clothes. Very cute. I gave her um, a half a composition notebook. And I also gave her a princess unicorn coloring book. I gave her some princess stickers, a few more, some unicorn stickers. Oh, that's a clear backing, hard to see. And some heart stickers. Had I thought about it before, I maybe would have looked up the stats for how many people watched the royal wedding when Princess Diana and Prince Charles got married. <laughs> And the last thing I have for her is her backpack to take all her goodies home in and I did iron on this princess crown. So this is my tribute to the late Princess Diana. Today, July 1st is her, would have been her 62nd birthday. And I thought this was a great way to honor her and all her charitable contributions. So thank you everyone for packing boxes and to continue blessing children around the world. And thank you for watching my channel. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.